Governor Phil Scott says he'll be opening the economic spigot a little bit more. Local 22's Brittany Weir looks at the next round of business reopenings. Starting on June 1st, closed contact businesses can reopen. This means nail salons, massage parlors, tattoo shops, and fitness centers. So if you're someone who's been meaning to get their nails done or you've just been dying to get back in the gym, this is great news, but there are still strict guidelines that you need to follow. There can only be 25% capacity and you still need to maintain social distancing. Tom from Bella V Salon says it's probably going to be another couple of weeks until he can reopen. With the safety, you know, and health for our employee, for our staff, and for family, like we need a lot of sanitize before we can open and train the staff. So, from my own opinion, like June 1st, we're not quite ready that. Governor Scott says we can take these steps because Vermonters are being smart and safe. This must continue if we want to open things further. And so far, you're doing just that. Mike Feidelberg, the president of the Edge Sports and Fitness, says they'll be opening on June 8th. They've been getting ready by separating their gym equipment and creating a zero contact check in. We're going to take the uh, extra time during the week to be fully prepared. We said from the beginning that we weren't in a rush to get there first, but we wanted to do it right. Under the guidelines, these businesses need to try to see people by appointment only. No walk in customers will be allowed for now. With, with our salon, you know, we're here, we have a lot of customers. So it's not like, you know, one by one, sometimes they come in the whole roof. So now I have to figure out how that work. Mike says these past three months have been hard because they're a people-focused business. This is a social experience, so to not have that uh, has been a challenge for people, but we're looking forward to being able to see people, you know, in person once again real soon. Contact games or activities are still not allowed unless they're needed for safety reasons. Businesses also must keep a log of everyone who comes in for at least 30 days in case there needs to be contact tracing. In Williston, Brittany Weir, Local 22 News.